Mission start! Hey guys, it's Kyle. And Denzel. And uh, we got another video for you here. Um, stack V3. What is Stack V3, Kyle? Um, the Stack uh, application has been surfacing around or circling around since about 2.0. And finally, the beta for 3, version 3, is out to the public and it's available via the XLIs repo, which we'll have over in the uh, description. Um, basically, what this allows you to do is take one icon on your springboard and be able to access multiple icons from it. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and show you. Um, you'll see that in the bottom right-hand corner of my iPod, I have a stack. And so what you do is you hit Cydia or whatever you have over there, and multiple icons will come up. And so if we want to play Tetris, which is part of our stack, we just go ahead and tap Tetris, and it will launch Tetris without having to find it in our pesky springboard. Um, some things to note while we go to our settings, so I can show you. Uh, basically how you would edit, go about editing this. Um, for some reason there's a slight bug in version 3 and what it does is whenever you respring you, it resprings as the far right on your dock so even if you have it set up in the middle it will whenever you respring you'll have to drag it over because in V3 you can now move and drag whereas before you had to like it was in the middle and it was always in the middle. Um, as for stack settings you just go into the stock settings app and it will have its own little button and then you go in here and it says worn on remove which basically is when you want to remove something from the stack you hold on to the icon and drag away it will give you a thing do you want to remove it and then it will poof out of the um, stack uh, always show in grid means that whenever you hit it and uh, I'll show you this in a second it will always show up in a grid and I'll explain that in a bit and use curve stack which we're going to go ahead and flip on so you can see that um, uh, means that and then you can display a single icon image or cascaded icons uh, single icon would be the icon that's at the bottom. The cascaded would be all the icons in it and just an image is basically just the image of the stack. And so uh, we're going to go back to the springboard, let it respring. Or not respring, I guess. It doesn't even take a respring. Um, and so you'll see that now the stack is curved. Uh, when it was talking about the grid, we're just going to go ahead and take tap, tap, revenge, hold on it till they wiggle, right? And then what you do is you just take it and you drag it into this and it will ask you yeah and so you just add it right in there so all you need to do is overlap it and drag it in I'm sorry about the terrific drop in frame rate and so now when you open it up it will be in grid style or what it's referred to as and you can have as you can see a ton of icons in this when you turn on always show in grid it doesn't matter if you have one it will always show up as this another great feature of this is that now you can take this stack as I mentioned earlier and move it around so it's like a regular old icon so I can put that over there or which is a new bonus is you can drag it up into here and uh, and now you'll have a stack that's not in your dock but is up here and it will automatically go to the grid with a, a little arrow at the bottom and so it's a pretty useful application something cool to have show your friends it's modeled after Mac OS 10 that type of thing so it's a pretty cool, you know, little tidbit to have. Convenient if you have a lot of apps you like to use frequently that are not fittable in your dock. And I think that's all. Yep. All right, if you guys have any questions about Stack V3 or how to use it or stuff, because some of it may be a little confusing, uh, go ahead and leave a comment or personal message us. We always answer our personal messages relatively quickly. And, um, yeah. Anything else to say, Denzel? Um, nothing. Never do. Yeah, wow. Thanks for watching.